Hello, magandang araw na naman sa ating lahat ng mga viewers. So for this session, we're going to take up partitive proportion. So again, we're going to take explanation, real life situation, and sample problems. Okay, let's go. What is partitive proportion? Partitive proportion or proportion by parts describes a whole amount being divided or distributed into two or more equal or unequal parts. So, ang ating keyword dito ay itong part. Okay? Partitive proportion from our root word part. Okay, ngayon, so as we go on using our examples, mas maintindihan natin ang definition nitong ating partitive proportion. Okay, now, we apply partitive proportion in our real life situations such as sa so, natin nagagamit ito, una, planning for household budget. So, sa atin, sa mga mamis natin, magagamit natin ang partitive proportion sa ating pagbabudget. What else? Distribution of goods among a variety of number of people. Limbawa, kung nagbibigay ng uh, relief goods, so magagamit din ang partitive proportion. So, mas maraming tao, ibig sabihin, mas malaki ang kanilang part. Okay, let's go. Next, division of profits among business partners. So, ang matatanggap among the business partners kung mas malaki ang part nila sa capital o dun sa puhunan, syempre, mas malaki din yung part nila doon sa profit. So, daw, that is how it works. Okay, now, to further illustrate, using A is to B is equal to N. Okay, A is to B is equal to N. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, A and B represents the ratio of the distribution or the number of partitions. So, itong A is to B, still, it represents the ratio. Ngayon, ano naman yung N? It represents the whole or the totality of all the given parts. Okay, ano ba yung parts na gagamitin natin na yan? Actually, itong parts ay ito yung variables. Ito yung depende sa given natin. Okay, let's go. So, ito muna yung steps. Steps in answering word problems involving partitive proportion. Number one is to formulate the equation. So, lahat ng mathematical problems, ang una mong ibibigay, pag alam mo na yung hinahanap, ang una mong ibibigay ay ang equation. Number two, get the number of equal parts. Okay, mamaya mapag-aaralan natin yan. Number three, solve for the value of each part. Number four, solve for the value of each given variable. So, these uh, steps ay magiging guide natin sa pagsagot ng word problems involving our partitive proportion. Okay, let's have sample problem number one. In Mount Tonyo's fruit stand, there is a combined total of 50 crates of lemons and oranges. The ratio of crates of lemons to crates of oranges is 2 is to 3. How many crates of lemons and crates of oranges are there in all? So dito sa tindahan ni Mang Tonyo, ang total ng number of crates ng lemons at ng oranges ay 50. So regardless kung yan man ay orange or, or lemon, basta ang, ang, ang total ay 50. Pero all we know is that ang kanyang ratio is 2 is to 3. So, merong dalawang lemons in every 3 crates of oranges. Ngayon, ang tanong, how many crates of lemons and crates of oranges are there in all? So, kung ilan na ang crate ng lemon at crates ng oranges, ngayon, ang hahanapin natin. Okay, let's go. Let's have... Um, Method number one in answering. We are going to do two methods. Okay, we're, I'm going to show you two methods in answering our word problem. So, our box method, this box represents the whole totality. Yung kabuuang number of crates sa tindahan ni Montonio, which is equal to 50. Okay, ngayon itong, itong box na ito ay hahatiin natin. Ilan kaya ang hati natin? Okay. Going back to our question, it says here, okay, there is a ratio of 2 
is to 3. So dito, ito kukunin natin. 2 is to 3. So ibig sabihin, may dalawang part ang lemon, may, dalaw may tatlong part ang oranges. Okay? May dalawang parts ang lemon, may tatlong parts ang oranges. Okay, balik tayo. Okay, balikan natin yung ating problem. So nandito tayo kanina. So we have here. So itong box natin, hatiin natin sa lima. Why lima? Because it says in the problem, there is a ratio of two uh, crates of lemons and two uh, three crates of oranges. So in every two crates of lemons, in yung color yellow natin, then three crates of oranges. Yeah, color orange yan. Now, each box, okay, each box, okay, meron siyang corresponding na content. So, ilan ba ang laman ng isang box? Since ang total ay 50, so itong 50 natin, we are going to divide it by 5 equal parts. So, that makes it 10. So, ang isang part will be 10. Now, we have 2 parts here na lemons ang laman and 3 parts here na oranges ang laman natin. So, therefore, there are 2 crates of lemons. I'm sorry. There are 3, 20 crates of lemons and 30 crates of oranges. Okay? So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay. Let's go. We have method 2. Okay. Through our numerical solution. We have the ratio here. 2 is 2. 2 is to 3 is equal to 50. 2 is to 3 is equal to 50. Okay? Ngayon, we are going to make use of our um, we are going to make use of our formula or equation 2x plus 3x is equal to 50. Ito gagamitin natin where okay, x is the value of each part. Next, 2 number of parts for crates of lemons. Okay, 3 is the number of parts for crates of oranges. And 50, okay, so ito na yung combined number of crates of oranges and lemons. Okay, so let's go. So we are going to take this. Okay, ito, itong 2x plus 3x is equal to 50. Ito na ang ating ngayong equation or formula. Okay, 2x plus 3x is equal to 50. Now, the first thing to do is we are going to add the number of equal parts. So that is 2x plus 3x, that makes it 5x. 5x is equal to 50. Ngayon, para malaman natin kung ano yung x, tatanggalin natin yung 5. So ang gagawin natin, we divide both sides by 5. So, for this matter, we can now, we can now cancel 5. And what left, what being left here is 5, 50 over 5. So that makes it x is equal to 10. Ngayon, itong 10 na ito, ngayon itong 10 na to ay isasubstitute natin dito. Remember, 2x yung ating para sa number of lemons. So that makes it 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So we have 20 crates of lemons. Okay, how about for our oranges? Okay, we have here 3x. So we have 3 times 10. Sinabstitute pa rin natin yung, yung 10 doon sa x. So that makes it 30 crates of oranges. Okay, so let's go for our sample problem number 2. In grade 6 mabait, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 5. If there are 48 pupils in the class, how many boys and how many girls are there? So sa klaseng ito, sa section ng grade 6 mabait, ang ratio ng girls sa boys ay 3 is to 5. Ngayon, ang total number of pupils sa klase ay 48. Ang tinatanong na ngayon is, ilan yung baba, ilan yung lalaki, at ilan yung babae. Okay, remember our ratio is 3. 5. So first, let us solve using our box method. So again, 
This box represents the totality of the number of pupils which is 48. Ngayon, i-divide natin siya into equal parts. Il ilang equal parts? Tingnan natin. Okay, kasi dahil 3 is to 5, therefore, ang number of equal parts natin will be 8. So, we are going to divide the box into 8 equal parts. Wherein, there are 3 parts na, na boys and 5 parts na girls. So, ang gagawin natin dito, itong 48 na to, we are going to distribute, we are going to equally distribute itong 48 among these boxes. So, 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6. So, one box now contains 6. So, therefore, if we have 3 boys here, 3 times 6, that is 18, and we have 5 girls here, 5 parts na ang laman ay girls. So, 5 times 6, that is 30. So, we have the final answer as there are 18 boys and 30 girls in the class. Okay, let us go. So let's go for our method 2 using our numerical solution. Okay, 3 is to 5 is equal to 48. Okay, ang gagawin natin, gawin natin ang formula. That is 3x plus 5x is equal to 48. We're in, again, our x is the value of each part. Three, number of parts for boys in the class. And five is the number of parts for the girls in the class. And 48 is the total number. So, ito na yung kabuuan ng klase. 48 pupils. Okay? So, using again our formula here, 3x plus 5x is equal to 45. That is equal to, okay, 3 plus 8, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Is equal to 48. Now again, we want to eliminate or we want to cancel 8. We're going to divide both sides by 8. We divide both sides by 8. So we can cancel now 8 and 8. So what remains here is 48 divided by 8. That is equal to 6. Again, Yung 6 natin ay ating isa substitute sa ating formula. So, we can now solve for the number of boys in the class. So, that makes it 3x or 3 times 6. That is now equal to 18. So, therefore, we have 18 boys in the class. And now, we solve for the number of girls in the class. 5x or that is 5 times 6 which is equal to 30 girls in the class. Oh, so therefore, there are 18 boys and 30 girls in the class of grade 6, Mabait. Hey, let's have sample problem number 3. There are 5,310 roses in Aling Leia's flower shop. Okay, these roses, okay, these are red, pink, and yellow roses with a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. How many roses of each color does Aling Leia's store has? Okay, ngayon, ano muna yung alam natin? Sa tindahan ni Aling Leia ng mga bulaklak, merong roses na ang kabuuan ay 5,310. Ngayon, merong tatlong uri yung roses niya. Merong red, merong pink, and merong yellow. Now, ang gagawin natin, Sabi pa rito is we have a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay, remember, in ratio, kung ano yung unang binanggit na given, yun din yung unang variable para sa kanya. So, red, okay, 1, pink, 2, and yellow ay 3. Okay, let's go. Okay, now, let us solve using our box method. Okay, again, this box represents all the... Uh, kinds of roses being um, sold sa tindahan ni Aling Lea. And that is equal to 5,310. Now, we are going to divide this sa ating number of um, parts. Ilan kaya? Okay, again, we have a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay, so, we have 6. I-add lang natin yan. Okay, let's go. So, we have now 6 
equal parts. Wherein there is a one part is uh, red roses, two parts are pink roses, and three parts are yellow roses. Now, since we have six equal parts here, we are going to divide itong ating 5,310 sa 6. So, that is now equal to 885. So, we have 885 for each box, for each part. Okay, one part is 885. Okay? So, tignan natin. So, for our final answer now, we have there are... 885 red okay 1700 pink and 2655 yellow roses in all so gagawin nyo lang i-add nyo lang itong mga ito okay so using now our method to you know, numerical solution okay, th this is our ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is equal to 5300 then, again, okay, so ito ang ating formula, x plus 2x plus 3x is equal to 5,310. Kung mapapansin nyo, una itong x, okay, yung 1, x lang, okay, walang nakalagay na 1x. Okay, it doesn't matter, kasi uh, kahit palagyan natin ng 1 yan, 1 times x is still equal to x. Okay, let's go. We're in. Okay, e, okay, X is the value for each part. One, okay, the number of parts for red roses. Two, the number of parts for pink roses. And three is the number of parts for yellow roses. Okay, let's go. X plus 2X plus 3X is equal to 5,300. 10. So, we just add this. Sabi ko, merong 1 dito yan. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that makes it 6. 6x is equal to 5,310. So, we divide 6, 6x by 6. And, seeing as true, 5,310, we divide it by 6. So, we cancel out 6 and 6. And what remains is, ito na lang, 5,310 divided by 6, which which is equal to 885. And itong 885 na ito, substitute natin ulit dito. Okay, since wala naman ng variable yung x dito, that is now, number of red roses is 885. And we solve for the number of pink roses, that is 2x. Now, that is 2 times 885, which is equal to 1,770 pink roses and for our number of yellow roses we have 3x or that is 3 times 885 that is equal to 2655 yellow roses Yon. okay so remember let us have a review okay steps in answering word problems involving partitive proportion una we formulate the equation number two get the number of of equal parts. Okay, paano mo kukunin yun? Ang gawin mo lang, i-add mo lang yung mga variable sa ratio. Yun lang. Okay, so yun na yung number of equal parts. Ngayon, pag alam mo na yung equal parts, solve for the value of each part. Ano gagawin mo lang? You divide the the number uh, the, you divide the, to, the total number of um, given doon sa number of equal parts. Ngayon, pag alam mo na yung number of equal parts o yung laman, yung value ng each part, okay, you can now solve for the value of each given variable. Okay, yun lang. So, maraming salamat again sa pakikinig. So, this is your um, lesson for today. That is partitive proportion. Okay, yun lang. Magandang araw and goodbye and God bless. Happy viewing and happy learning.